it's noticeably more quiet here than your average soccer tournament. Teammates aren't yelling back and forth. The referee has no whistle. But don't let the silence fool you. It's quiet here for a reason. These soccer players are deaf or hard of hearing. And while winning is on their minds, the fact that they're together is what matters most. Peers are tremendously important, uh, especially for youth. For example, a lot of high school students who are deaf, they do not have role models, deaf role models in their own schools. They only see teachers who can hear and so are unlike themselves. Many of these youth can't speak aloud, but they definitely have a lot to say. Mike Sear is running this friendly tournament. He works for an agency called Silent Voice. Silent Voice does different events throughout the year. Sporting events are one of our most popular uh, in the deaf community. Today uh, we're having a soccer game. It's sort of a fun day. It's an all-day soccer game. We're trying to really create a bridge through soccer with our deaf youth and our deaf adults. There's clusters of deaf people all over the city and this is a nice opportunity for them to come together, spend some time together, support one another. We've got some high school students participating today as well. We're trying to, you know, get better at uh, playing soccer and we, we have a good time basically. Today when I'm with these guys, it's very comfortable to communicate here. What does it mean to be an effective communicator? As a Catholic student, it's one of our graduate expectations. We're learning how to engage with our world and those around us. Some people think that's about saying as much as possible, as loudly as possible, you know, to get your point across. For others, it's talking to as many people as you can, all at the same time. But what if to communicate, you don't need to speak vocally or hear audibly at all? First, I'll uh, talk a little bit about myself. As you guys can see, I'm deaf. And as you can also see, I use American Sign Language. Um, and it's a language just like English or Spanish or French or any other spoken language. And before before we talk about programs, I think maybe I'll explain a little bit more about what it means to be deaf. Does that mean if you speak louder, they'll hear you? Like, actually? What do you guys think? Somebody yell something out, see if I can hear it. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, obviously that's not going to work. How do you memorize all the actions? Well, it's just like you memorize all the words in English. You're not thinking about how to remember what it is you say. It's just the language that I use, and I know how to use it. Is there a cure for people who are deaf? There is some technology, like cochlear implants, and they're also doing research with things like genes. But there's also another perspective too. Deaf people are very proud of who they are, and they don't want to lose that. We see ourselves as being totally okay. Silent Voice's mission is ensuring all deaf people can access the services they need, including newcomers to Canada and the disadvantaged. They offer social and recreational programs. And they teach sign language to families, so parents and siblings can all communicate. So deaf people, deaf children, youth, adults, face barriers at every turn, from goods and services to housing, to employment, to education, uh, recreational and sports activities. So imagine a child who wants to take summer programming, deaf kids, may not be able to register for that same course, it's not accessible to them. So Silent Voice provides these services and we break down barriers. Silent Voice is able to help those in need thanks to generous donors. One of their major sources of funding is the Share Life campaign. Silent Voice can't do what it does without Share Life. Um, majority of our clients, our families, live below the poverty line. With Share Life funding, we're able to provide services free of charge to the families and to the individuals. I want the donors to know when they give to Share Life and when schools do campaigns, they change people's lives. How would you sign this? 
like this. Hello. Everybody copy me. How are you? This is a sign for fine. How about this one? Thank you. I learned a lot of new signs and a really neat language. This was my first time meeting a deaf person. It was really cool to see how they communicated with other people. And it was amazing. I never seen someone do that before. I learned a lot about the deaf community. They can do everything like everybody else. Now, if I ever encounter someone who's deaf, I know how to speak to them. Lots of people can hear and see and speak, but they might not know how to listen how to understand the world around them, and how to communicate truth and love.